Hey guys, it's me Delta One here with Airsoft Talk, and today I have a review for you, brought to you by RaptorsAirsoft.com. Link in the description where you can buy all the products that are made in any of the videos that I make for them. This is the Element FG1, FSG1 pistol grip. You guys should know what I mean. Um, but uh, so I haven't opened it yet. I haven't gotten hands on with it yet. So I'm gonna open it up right now, and this. Grip, I'm gonna put it on this little JG Stubby killer and I'm gonna try it out on my Barrett just to see which one works better. But I'm probably gonna put one of this if I like it better on the little Stubby killer just to be ridiculous. I'm gonna keep this on here and then put this on the Barrett just because. But, anyways, let's get this out of the way and open it up. So, the packaging is very nice. I like this. It's 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 a very kind of like thickish, gelish rubber kind of casing which is nice because you know it's not going to like rip apart it is just stapled together by this piece of paper though to prevent parts from falling out so let's get this out first impressions that feels very comfortable oh my god that is that is nice very nice and that doesn't even have the entire pistol grip on it That's held in by that. That's very interesting. Sorry if I was off frame there, guys, for a second. I'm trying to figure this out. This is the first time I've really got hands on with this. So I'm guessing this just kind of goes on like this, or how does this work? Very interesting, but uh, that feels very comfortable. Very, very comfortable, very slick. It's nice. That's all I can really say about it. First impressions. Now let's uh, let's install this on something and see what see what the results are. See what it's like. Okay, guys. So when I was fiddling with it and getting it to work, I do have one small con I'm gonna list. You're gonna need some sort of washer in here in order to tighten this to where it doesn't move up and down like that. And if you tighten it too much, it'll eat through the rubber. So just be careful and make sure you put some washers in there to prevent that from happening. That'll help. But I was kind of confused on how this worked. I thought the motor was just sitting on this part of the base plate of the uh, pistol grip. And then that went in there and that it would adjust right there. But I was wrong. Apparently what you do when you take off your old pistol grip, such as like your, this JG one right here, which uh, just dropped out screws, I will use these same screws. You have to use the screws that were in there in order to mount it to something else. So make sure you save there, but you put your base plate from your old motor cage in the bottom of this grip and you line it up like that. So that's pretty neat. It's also pretty cool because I just think it's cool and I love FSG1 pistol grips. But yeah, so I'm gonna put that together and uh, show you what it looks like on the M4. So we had some minor changes we had to make. So we had some minor changes we had to make because we were just running into some not really issues with the stubby killer, but we just thought, you know what? Why don't we just go all out and put on the bear? Now, first impressions with it on the bear, it's fantastic, but there is a small con. We did have to Dremel. A little bit to get it to fit but then again the Barrett isn't your standard AR grip so you may have to there's a pin by the trigger that removes the trigger guard that you may have to file down a bit to get this to fit but we filed this back and widened it because we you know what we're just gonna put it on here and for the price of it is currently prices do fluctuate guys because of the economy and how bad our dollar exchange rate is. Right now this is $24.99 at raptorsairsoft.com. Now one other thing, we had to put a little washer, and I mean little, so I'm going to go ahead and have my cameraman zoom in on it. We had to put one of these on one side of it, of the screw that screws into the bottom of the, the pistol grip on the side to keep it from going through the rubber and to make sure it's nice and tight. So I don't know what diameter these are. I just had an abundance of them sitting around in like my bolt slash washer kind of bin area. So I put this one of these on it and it worked fine. Now another thing is it came with two extra little screws right here. I don't even know if you can even see them. They're so small. 
It came with three screws. One is to put into the back of the pistol grip facing this way to make sure it stays in place. I don't know what these serve for, but I guess they're spares. But they are different sizes from the other one that I did screw in. Now, when you grip it and you use it and you're going to snipe kind of like this and you look down your scope, it is very satisfying and it does, it feels very good. Even if you're a left-handed shooter, it still feels good. It's meant to be an ambidextrous as well, so it is extremely nice. And that's probably the biggest thing on a pistol grip that I would want to complain about would be the ambidextrous uh, part. And this feels comfortable in both hands either way. So if you're sniping and for whatever reason you're right-handed and you have to make an awkward lefty shot with, with your other shoulder, you can. And it's still comfortable and it still feels nice in your hands. So overall this is great. Now there is space in between here. If you see, you can see it kind of pivots a little bit. So that can also work to your advantage if you have weird sized hands like the Hulk or something, I guess. I mean, or if you just have ginormous hands. Now you can hold it by the pistol grip so it's strong. So you know the material that it's made out of is strong. It's a very nice kind of, uh, if you've ever held one of those, uh, JG Tactical AKs, and you put your cheek on it, it's got that rubber coat. That's what this feels like, so it, it also is nice because if your hands start to sweat, it doesn't really kind of stick on here. It kind of just rubs off. So that's another great thing, and it's also comfortable, and it's pretty thick, so if your motor got hot, it would be a while before you would really feel it, which can be a bad and a good thing, but then yet again, you're not holding the trigger down going like... <laughs> You're not a support gunner. This isn't a support gun, although I would like to turn it into a support gun just because I'd love to be called the Call of Duty fanboy kid in my field. But that's just me. But uh, overall, um, difficulty to the difficulty that you would have to install that, if 10 being uh, you overhaul a gearbox and you install the most complicated MOSFET that you've built for the first time being a 10, I would put this at a 4 to a three, just trying to figure it out the first time, but after that, it's pretty much a two. It's not really hard to install. Now, you may have to modify it to fit certain M4s. That goes with anything. Nothing just goes on without modifications. That's just a myth most of the time. So sometimes you may have to modify it, sometimes you might not have to. But overall, I'm thoroughly pleased with this and it is a fantastic product and I would indefinitely recommend it for anyone who's looking for a DMR who has a DMR that's an AR base or anything of that sort that this will fit onto but I will tell you this this will not fit on a G3 you actually have to go buy an actual G3 FSG1 pistol grip but overall um, I'm gonna have my sniper that's on my squad come in and say a few words about it because he would, that's just showing you that I have someone that is an actual sniper that that's what he does on our squad to give his opinion on this real quick. So Mike is going to come in and say a few words about this. So this is what I think about the pistol grip. Um, as a sniper, you're usually in one spot for a very long time. And if you live in a warm climate or really any climate, you know, except for like Siberia or something like that, you're going to be sitting here with your hand on the pistol grip for a very long time. And your hands get really sweaty. Like, really sweaty. So, what happens is your hand on a normal M4 pistol grip or something like that will start to slide. And I'm, I'm exaggerating a lot about it sliding, but it gets really annoying to just try to, you know, it's just a lot of more effort than you need to have. So what I love about this thing is that it's got this plate right here. You can just rest your hand on the plate and, you know, it just, you can sit here for a very long time doing what you got to do, which is nothing for a while. Um, and I also love the, the, the texture of the grip itself. Um, it's, it's really hard plastic. It's really sturdy. And it's got these, like, little holes in it, like, uh, like Swiss cheese almost sort of stuff. Um, and it just, it, it gives you a really nice grip to the gun. 
and going back to my previous statement, you're not your hands not sliding down it when you're sweaty, and so it just it just it's a good accessory for a sniper to sit in one place for a long time and not have to worry about stuff happening to your hands. Stuff. Thank you, Mikey, for giving us your opinion. Now for the final conclusion: price, super affordable, build quality, very nice. Compatibility is kind of, you may have to modify it a little bit to fit whatever it is, but you know, that's really not a big issue. Nothing you can't fix with a Dremel tool or some f a file or sandpaper. But it did not fit a JG Blue motor very well at all. You had to force it in, and if you have to force anything in, it's definitely, definitely very iffy, and you want to make sure it fits properly so you don't break anything. Now, I think it's fantastic. It's a great piece to have. You should definitely look into getting this if you're a DMR. And you can get it at RaptorsAirsoft.com. And again, we thank you, Raptors, for sending us this product. And guys, we appreciate the view, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.